There are a few things that are good to know to make sense of this Australian painting. Home Again was painted by Australian artist Frederick McCubbin in 1884, while he was still a student. An Australian with even a moderate understanding of 19th century Australia would recognise that the man arriving home is a swag man. His swag, or bedroll, is still slung around his neck. A swag man was a man who had set to the road to get itinerant work. Importantly for our story, he could be gone for months or even years at a time. If he got a job droving, that is moving sheep over hundreds of miles, he could easily be gone for a year or two. These long times away, well known to McCubbin's audience in 1884, set the stage for the drama that is to unfold. Some paintings have no obvious meaning, linking more to unspoken feelings. For example, Edward Hopper's Gas. See my video. But not this one. McCubbin was 29 when he painted Home Again. At the time, he was under the tutelage of George Bollingsby at the National Gallery School, Melbourne, in Australia. This early painting has given us a domestic scene with a dramatic storyline. In a classic Honey I'm Home moment, the man arrives at the door, eager to embrace his wife after a long time on the road. His shoes dusty from the road, his beard long. It is not just the title that tells us that this is his home. McCubbin has helpfully added the dog, showing us that this indeed is the husband, home from his long sojourn seeking work. The house is plain, the garden overgrown, see the branches coming right up to the open door, the mat is worn through. The house is simply but brightly adorned, polished silver and brass, a posy of fresh flowers. But as our story unfolds before us, it is clear that the man's wife is shocked to see him, not even lifting the iron from the cloth as she holds her hand to her head. Perhaps in the long time away, she had given him up for dead. No one was sending texts to each other in 1884, and even letters depended on unreliable means of delivery, especially when out droving. And that was even if he knew how to write, or she to read. But it seems more than just the shock of his appearing. It seems she had given him up as gone forever. For there in the foreground, but hidden half in shadow is, a baby's crib. Oh dear, it seems she really had moved on. Her shock is going to turn into a lot of explaining and probably an argument. I thought you were dead. Didn't you get my letters? No, why didn't you write more? Whose baby is that? I thought you were dead. And then perhaps a few minutes later, a special knock on the door and then two men are confronting each other. There is no doubt that life was hard and tough. In a time of poor communication, many Australian stories from the era are premised on misunderstandings or missed communications. For a woman on her own, it would have been difficult to manage both the home, the garden, and whatever work she needed to do to gain some sort of income, maybe even taking in ironing. Lonely too, with your husband gone so long that you assumed he was never returning. But return he did, and McCubbin has turned that moment into one we can all understand. Another beloved storytelling painting by McCubbin is The Pioneer, painted in 1904. It's worth a video all on its own, which I will do later. In his later paintings, McCubbin learned to be more subtle. In Autumn Memories, painted 15 years after Home Again, we have subtle clues as to the inner memories the beautiful golden palette warming us to ponder the inner thoughts of the lady. In Autumn Morning, painted a further 17 years from then, there is no obvious meaning. Nevertheless, we find ourselves peacefully contemplating a domesticated Australian landscape and light as the chill of winter starts to arrive. But it is home again that is just the right kind of story to introduce us to the drama and story of art. It's actually a good painting to introduce younger people to art. Well, not too young, I suppose, because it teaches us to look for clues for meaning, to imagine what is going on and what may come next, 
to tell us that all art is trying to express something, not always a story, but something. And here we have a universal moment, transcending its 19th century origin, speaking to us today. Home again. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.